Welcome to Belgrade! Hey you guys! We're in Serbia, in Belgrade. And uh, I don't know why. So I decided that today we're gonna go out and we're gonna find some of like the tourist places where people take pictures and stuff like that. And we're gonna take pictures and stuff like that. We decided to stay at this place that is like close to uni like a university, a student hall or something. Like we're not sure yet. It sounds like that and people go drunk, like go around drunk in the night. So probably students. So this is supposed to be Serbian, no, not supposed to. This is Serbian salad. And that's like roast lamb. lamb. And this is roast veal. And I have to say it took actually like a few seconds four minutes oh, yeah we're also getting oh. all right how was that meal meaty it was meaty yeah did you enjoy all the meat i enjoyed all the meat coming back to the main portion of the entertainment show you're watching this statue that is like the most famous statue of Belgrade and I feel so bad because I don't know the name of it A naked guy, obviously uh, So it used to face that way But women didn't like to look at his genitals So they have to turn it around And now we can look at his ass better Pose so I finally got something to eat and I'm gonna show you guys. Andrew. I found this very interesting place that sells uh, rice pudding with like different toppings and I love I love rice pudding and I'm very excited. We're gonna see what they have in there. It's also like super cheap so Yummy. Oh, they have all of these flavors. <laughs> this all looks so good. They have chocolate banana. This is the original one. So I ended up choosing this vegan one that has like chia seeds and chocolate and it looks so good And this one's like $2 Thank like, you so much You get so much Everything looks super yummy and they have like different options Look at this one I've eaten so much on this video today well in Belgrade and it's a very sunny day look at this that's the most sun I've seen in like four months the government just started uh, lifting up some of the measures they had for quarantine and today I have to go get some stuff from the pharmacy I'm gonna have a chance to see how are people behaving outside and to be honest the Serbians haven't been taking quarantine very seriously from the beginning so I'm pretty sure you're gonna see some interesting interesting things so as I was saying the Serbian government lifted up some of the measures of the quarantine the public parks are still closed yet you can see there's already people entering the parks and having like almost like a picnic around so this is one of the main roads you can definitely see the amount of people who are around and uh, This is April the 28th in Belgrade, uh, Serbia and this is the fourth day since they started lifting up some of the measures for quarantine so I'm gonna be walking around so you guys can see how people are reacting to this new freedom that they have and for what I see, Serbians are already very happy <laughs> 
Okay, so this is one of the main avenues of Belgrade and this is where most of the retail businesses are. Some of them have started opening and you can see that there's already lots of people going around. Some of their respect other people's space, most of them don't. And uh, as I was saying at the beginning, it's been very difficult for the Serbs to kind of like Except follow those. the quarantine measures and like everything that the government has asked during this month, they've had a difficult time following. The only open section of the mall is Starbucks and the supermarket. And uh, because obviously Starbucks is a first and basic need for all of us right now. And um, down there is like uh, where most of the retail stores are. Your main names like Zara, H&M and all that goody goody stuff up there. Of course I brought my hand sanitizer with me. It's around 70% rubbing alcohol. And it's important for you guys to Keep taking care of yourself, even if some of the measures are lifted. Keep the distance between you and other people. And of course, wash your hands. One of the reasons why the government is doing this is because they want people to become immune together as a group. So to develop group immunity. And that also requires people to be outside. Even if it's scary, it's necessary. Well, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, thanks for everything, love you!